Tonight, the head of Ames School is laying out new steps to stop the violence. KCCI's Kayla James is live at Ames High School tonight. Kayla, this comes after a series of fights at the schools. Yeah, Stacey Ben, that's right. The most recent fight that we know of happened last week, but tonight the district didn't touch on it. Now, Ames Police tells us the investigation is still ongoing, and the district says it doesn't reveal specifics on incidents like this because it involves students, and that's, you know, due to privacy reasons. But the superintendent tonight says he is working on mitigation efforts. The topic coming up toward the end of tonight's board meeting, Julius Lawson, Ames superintendent, beginning by saying the first weeks of the year went on without a problem. It's only recently fights like last week's at Ames High have been happening. The two superintendent says fights are not exclusive to race, program, group, gender, age or grade level. Dr. Lawson says he's spoken with principals about more structured, active campus monitoring, and he's also spoken with other district staff. We've worked with our districts, uh, one of our district districts, athletic directors to review athletic event procedures to ensure attendee safety. Um, we've launched our P3 initiative to support anonymous incident reporting, and we've asked um, students and staff alike across our district um, to say something if you see something. Now, no one signed up to speak during the public section today. Dr. Lawson also says that adults district-wide need to step up and make those connections with students, as well as support them and be a listening ear when they're needed. Live in Ames, Kayla James, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's News Leader.